Hello everyone, Stazima here, and I'm doing something new today. Some video vlogging for the summer going on here. Mixing some vlogging with some video games, just to switch it up a little bit. Because I have so much free time in the summer, I don't really know what to do with myself. So I figured maybe I'll do a bi-weekly vlog every other week. Or maybe if it's really successful, I'll do it every week. Or if everyone hates it, then I'll probably never do it again. So that's what I'm going to be doing every once in a while from now on. So guys, I don't have much to talk about. So if you guys want to see me talk about something, make it like a little Q&A sesh. Talk about something new, fresh, exciting, anything about not video games. Because I talk about video games every week in everything I do. So, let's talk about something not video games. Put it in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys want me to talk about. Because I need stuff to talk about. So I don't have much to talk about, but today... I figured why not just tell a story, get a little story time going on here, because everyone loves a good story, I mean it's not a crappy one, so it was the first time that I ever went to California, this was last year, and I live in Pennsylvania, which is all the way across the country from California, if you're not from the United States, it's pretty much another country in California, so it's really sunny, it's really nice, and it was the first time that I was ever in San Diego, actually, so I was, we were in San Diego for the day, and I was with my buddies, it was with the school, I was with a school sponsored trip, so I was with my buddies in San Diego, and we decided that, or rather, the trip went to old San Diego, we were there in old San Diego for about two hours, which is really old fashioned, it's like authentic Mexican kind of town, stuff like this, and a little side tangent here, if you ever watched Mega64, they do a lot of their videos in old San Diego actually, so whenever I see some of their videos, I'm like, hey, I was in that old San Diego. I was there. I know where they were. So that's kind of interesting, just to let you know. But that's old San Diego. So we were basically there for two hours, and we were like, well, none of these restaurants here really appear to uh, appeal to us, because we were just there basically to eat lunch. Then we were like, well, on the bus over here, we saw a Chipotle around there. So we were like, well, well let's just walk to Chipotle and get some Chipotle for us, because we want some, some fake authentic Mexican food. And... So we start walking out of Old San Diego, and it turns out that Old San Diego turns into a ghetto. Not really a ghetto, but it turns into not one of the nicest cities pretty quickly, actually. Not like Pennsylvania very much, in rural Pennsylvania. So we're walking down, basically we're walking, trying to find this Chipotle that we didn't even really know where it was. We are just kind of actually just walking aimlessly in a random direction. So anyway, we get to this parking lot, and we're crossing a parking lot, and one of my friends sees a guy. And he's like, hey, he points to, he looks at us and he points to that guy and he's like, hey, that guy looks like he's like a crack addict or something. And we were like, well, um, okay, so we look over to Adam and little do we know that he actually just pulls out a crack pipe right there and then he just, and he smokes crack. He's just like lighting up a crack pipe in front of us, smoking crack. And he's like probably 20 feet away from us. And then he just like looks over at us. And it's just, it's this big black guy. He has a beard. And he just looks at us, he gives us like a death stare. He just took a hit of crack. Or maybe it was meth. We don't know. But he looks at us, and then we're just like, and he knows that we're looking at him. And we're just like, terrified. Like, a feeling of dread just falls over me. I was like, oh my god, like my heart just sinks. And he looks at us, and he just, he starts walking towards us. He's just like, and we're just like, we all just like, book it out of there. We're just like, we don't book it, we don't run, but we walk very quickly down the sidewalk, out of this parking lot that we were in, walking down the sidewalk. We don't even know where Chipotle is, we don't even care. We're just walking in a different direction. And we look behind us, he's probably like 10 feet behind us. He's still following us with this death stare in his eye because he's high on something, not good. Don't do drugs, just a little side note there. But anyway, we're walking down the street and we're like, we're kind of freaking out right now a little bit. Not really, because we don't want to talk to each other, because we don't want to alert him to our presence. We just kind of like want to shrivel up and just hide a little bit. And he just looks at us, gives us a death stare like none other, and we are freaking out. So we decide to just book it into this little restaurant. It's a little Mexican restaurant in San Diego. It's like homemade, actual, authentic Mexican, and it was actually the most delicious Mexican food I've ever had. I had the most amazing quesadilla. It was amazing. Oh, that was such a good quesadilla. But anyway, back to the story. He did not follow us into this restaurant. Fortunately, it was a good day because he didn't follow us in. We just ate there for about 20 minutes and then we left and he was dissipated. He was no longer there. And that, and then we walked back to old San Diego and pretty much no one even noticed that we were gone. 
We went to Chipotle, but we failed and went to a random Mexican restaurant and got chased by a crackhead. And forever onwards, that guy was known as Crack Man. And we were chased by Crack Man down the street. And I was actually pretty terrifying. But in retrospect, it was actually very hilarious. It was actually a pretty funny story. California sometimes is a pretty weird place. While we were in California, we were in LA too. And in LA, we went to the amusement park at Disneyland. Let me tell you, some shady people go to Disneyland. Let me tell you, these weird people are just like, I don't even know what to have to describe these people with like shin guards and like random hair that goes down here with like huge beards. It's pretty scary actually. It's kind of amusement park type crowd, but what you gonna do? All amusement parks are like that. And that's about my extent of my California experience. I overall I actually really like California, mainly because of the weather. I love the weather in California, always sunny and stuff like that. Great times, great times. Well guys, that's a little story I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog one on one. I need some stuff to talk about if you don't know. It's the summer, I like doing Q&A. Q&A is really fun for me, I enjoy answering your guys' questions. So it's summer, really lazy as you can tell, I don't really shave that much in the summer. Just let my appearance deteriorate continually as my hair gets longer and more unkempt. So guys, that's all for this video vlog for this week. Maybe one next week or maybe one two weeks from now. Or maybe if you guys hated this then you never want me to do it again, then I'll probably, probably never do one again. But I hope you enjoyed this Halo 4 gameplay that we have going on here. I know it's not the best Halo 4 gameplay, but it's about all we have right now. I'm going to try to do different games other than Halo whenever I do these vlogs. Do maybe some Minecraft, some Skyrim, any kind of game that's not Halo. Usually that's what I'm going to try to do. That's my goal for the summer. And maybe if these are still popular at the end of the summer, I'll do them into the fall and winter throughout when I'm actually busy. So guys, that's all I got for this week. See you next time. Stazima out.